Finally today, each year, Women in Agriculture hosts several events for women in the farming industry. But due to COVID-19, this year's events will look a little different. Market Journal's Maddie McIntosh spoke with Women in Ag Director Jessica Groskopf about two upcoming programs and how you can participate. Whether it's through a conference, a class, or even just a phone call, Women in Agriculture is here to help women with their agricultural businesses. With the ongoing pandemic, WIA is prepared to continue doing what they always do in a slightly different way. So this is a really unique opportunity for us. This is uh, our first online class that our farm management team has done. And so we all banded together. Know Your Numbers, Know Your Options is a four-part record-keeping class. And what we do is we go through a case study farm and look at their financial documents and how we can improve not only their records, but also their financial standings and help them make some decisions. So you'll go through a series of videos and work through our website that has some exercises for you to practice on by yourself. And then we'll be having a Zoom chat once a week that allows you to interact with other participants and bounce ideas off one another. Now, actually, we've been running for a little while now, but our next session starts September 18th. Producers who take part in the Know Your Numbers program will learn more about the financial aspects of the agriculture business. We really hope that folks gain the tools that they need to do some financial analysis for themselves. We know that record keeping and finances right now are really important, especially when margins are so tight. So this is that opportunity to look at somebody else's farm, see an example, and then apply those concepts at home. Space is limited due to COVID-19, and participants are encouraged to register by September 15th in order to receive their program materials. New this year, WIA has created a webinar series called Open for Business, which features female leaders in the agriculture industry. So Open for Business is a new series that we're doing with the Nebraska Women in Agriculture program where we're featuring female agribusiness entrepreneurs across the state. And it'll be uh, aired the second Tuesday of every month. And each month will feature a new business. And so, for example, we have a lavender farm. We have a direct to consumer beef sales business. And so what we're trying to do is show how we can diversify our operations um, with these businesses, but also talk about um, how these entrepreneurs came up with their business plan, marketing strategy, and how they are overcoming what we're calling business shocks, um, or those unexpected events like changes in regulation or disaster, and how they're uh, making sure that their entrepreneurial business can overcome those. The series starts off with Jacqueline Wilson and has a variety of other leaders in the lineup. Jessica says they're also looking to invite many more women as the series continues. So we're looking for entrepreneurs from a wide spectrum. So I've known Jacqueline um, through uh, Nebraska LEAD program and other programs. And when we thought about this, she came top of our mind. Um, but we know that there are other female entrepreneurs across the state. And we're actually taking recommendations of people who should be interviewed for this web series. So we only have a few lined up right now. Um, but as we go, we'll actually take recommendations from our audience about female entrepreneurs from across the state. Registration for this event is free and available up until the event starts and is strongly encouraged. So that's why that registration is so important, because if you have registered, you will get the copy of the webinar after the fact. Um, otherwise, it won't be viewable. Jessica says there are more events and ideas in the works for women in agriculture as 2020 continues and to keep an eye on their website for more information. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Maddie McIntosh.